Please proceed, Mr. Young. Good afternoon, Madam Chairman, Commissioners, members of the press, fellow citizens. My name is Virgil Young. I'm a lifelong resident of North Little Rock. And uh, I would like to comment with respect to Section 4, Rule 5C, MMC. It's on MMC page 8 in the provisions that I have. Uh, this section of the rules applies to applicants and particularly with respect to cultivation facilities. It provides that application shall provide proof that the proposed location of the cultivation facility is at least 3,000 feet from a public or private school, church, or daycare existing before the date of the cultivation application. I would respectfully inquire as to the legislative purpose of this restriction. Um, I have looked in Plaskett County, and we can't find such a facility. Um, this cultivation facility, I believe, would have to be in commercial areas. And if you're familiar with land use planning and, and master plans for cities and municipalities, this would essentially require a commercial zone. A commercial zoning, by definition, has churches, schools, and daycare centers in it. 3,000 feet is approximately three quarters of a mile. There is not such a facility or zoning classification in Plaskett County. I can't find a facility that we can buy or an area of land that we can purchase to put in such a facility. Moreover, there is not a corollary in Arkansas law with respect to a 3,000 foot restriction. The uh, alcohol beverage control restrictions on package stores, on clubs, nightclubs, and the use of alcohol the largest restriction I can find is 1,000 feet. So as a consequence of which, I would inquire and question the legislative purpose, the purpose of this 3,000 foot restriction and why there's a 3,000 foot restriction. And essentially it creates in urban areas a mission impossible for the location of this facility. Now, if you find a rural, extremely remote location, I think you're exacerbating problems. In other words, Security will be a problem in a real urban situation. You don't have the police, you don't have the fire, you don't have the, the infrastructure for supporting such a facility. Moreover, if you have a remote location for these facilities, the transportation costs are increased exponentially. Thank you, Mr. Young. Thank you. I believe the next person is Paul Young. 